Okay. And so our next game on the card is the Immortal. And the Immortal is available on PC through Steam and GOG.com for $5.99 USD. It is also available for $7.99 USD consoles. So you can pick this up on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. Um, it just, it's been on PC for a while, but it just came to consoles or the new gen consoles um, on the 28th, I believe, of October is when this one, when these released. Um, and again, I'd like to take the time to thank uh, Cubi Interactive and Pico Interactive for providing me with a free copy of The Immortal to play on tonight's stream. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get right into this. And the cool thing about this is that it actually has the 16-bit and the 8-bit version. Now, I played for my indie game moment the 16-bit. So I'm gonna give the 8-bit a try. We'll try the 8-bit or maybe we will play both. For a little bit, play maybe 15 minutes of the 8 bit and 15 minutes of the 16 bit so we can kind of see um, both games in action. So we're gonna start with the 8 bit first. Um, and like I said, I think I will play um, each of these for 15 minutes unless it frustrates me because the 16 bit one started frustrating me, <laughs> but we'll give it a go. And I thought that it was cool that it had the 8-bit as well as the 16-bit, um, so. Please press start or enter certificate. Okay. Wait, what's this? I don't think I did this in the 16-bit one. An image of the old wizard. Mortimer leaps from the camp and begins to Sternrot, you have come to save me. I am in the dungeons far below. I know I can't count on you. This explains your old teacher's mysterious disappearance. But there is one thing... Hello, Travis. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful night and that you've been having a good week. Your name is not... Erna. Erna. Oh, no. That is not our name, apparently. That is not our name. Okay, let's see. I don't want to go in there. Okay. We also don't want to die. Can I check this body? Yes. Find the body of a slain fighter. Search it. Uh, yes. You find a ring. A name is etched on the hand. Da -da -da. Uh, yes. It's locked and you don't have the key. Okay. I wonder if it's easier to kind of like use. Okay, so I'm on fire. Okay, I died. Drills are a little iffy in this, I see. <laughs> Prepare to continue. Okay, so that happened. Do I get to keep. Oh! Um, 
Oh, wow. Be sure to be careful. Let me see. Uh, how? Like, what does what? Okay, attack is A. That makes sense, but I'm at... I would like to actually... Um, let me see if it'll let me do that. I would prefer that to be my attack. A to be my dodge, and X can be my inventory. That's fine. I would prefer to go that route. Okay. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay. Got this. There we go. Dodge. Dodge. What are you doing? Dying again? Ugh, stab! What are you doing? We're gonna die. Okay, so we died. <laughs> but that's because I have to figure out... Like, I'm trying to figure out how to play the game, to be fair. Um, I don't have a certificate. Number. So we're just gonna hit start. Okay. So do I like, okay, yeah, so I'm legit starting over, over. All right, we're gonna come here, we're gonna check him, we're gonna get the uh, ring. I find the ring, it has a name dash on it, it's Duranus, however you pronounce that. We do not have the key, so I'm not gonna even bother going in there because we do not have a key. <sighs> Don't interfere. I don't know if I'm dodging. Is the problem. And I am legit hitting the dodge key. And my character will not dodge. And he will not dodge. That is driving me nuts. Like, that is legit driving me nuts. All right, I'm gonna try this and see what happens. Cause I had this set to A, but I swear when I go to dodge, he does not dodge. Okay, I'll give that a go. Uh, been doing pretty good. Mainly, um, just been working a lot. You could be right, and you can, you could actually be right, Dan. I'm gonna try that the next time, because I'm like, come on, yeah. Okay, so you said it could be, like, it is. Ah. Okay, so it is exactly what you said, huh? Because now that I know that, we will probably switch over to... Yeah, we already talked to him, though. We'll probably switch over to the 16 bit. And give it a go. Because we read all of this, to be fair. Like, we read all of this. Really? I literally just came 
have a gun. Please let me kill this thing. Thank you, finally I killed it. Yay, that was all me. Can I search the body? Oh, dirty dog. Kill the bat. Don't let this bat kill you. You have one job. Can we, like, not kill this bat? Okay, I think there's another goblin up here, though. Who are you? Are you, are you friend or foe? That's a good question. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot you. <laughs> I thought you were a bad guy. <laughs> My bad. You must rescue Mortimer. He is captive many levels below. The entrance to the lower levels is hidden. Okay, of course it is. Here's a key. Who me? Let's go now. Thank you. Alright. Uh -uh. Can I save? Please save. Because we just did a lot of stuff. Sweet. Okay. So we have saved. I, oh, well, I don't like the, okay, it's locked, but you have the key. Okay, uh, yeah, let's open this chest, see what's in there. You find 20 gold pieces. Sweet. You find a bag of bait. Oh, um, wish it would have been like a bag of golden, but okay. You find a sack of bad smelling sports poison? I mean, we can take it. Because what if it's like poison? Ah, don't get hit. Okay. Oh man, don't do this. Ugh, dang it. Surrender at once. Oh man, there's two of them. I didn't know that. <laughs> hey. Sometimes I try to get greedy with my attacks. <laughs> he smacked him in the face! I'm sorry, he literally smacked him in the face though. That was kind of funny. That was my fault though. I goofed that up really bad. Um, but we do have this save now. So we're gonna reload from where we died. <laughs> go from there. I will say it is really toasty in this part. I think we need to reopen the um current. I shouldn't have did that. Because we need to reopen this. We're gonna take the bait and the smell is Yes, let's stand in front of the fire. Gosh, no wonder we're not doing so hot. Um, let's see. All right. I'm not sure how many uh, save slots you get in this. All right, we're gonna give this a go. Okay, I personally I think because now we know how to play a little bit better, maybe we shouldn't load up the save file there. We're gonna grab the ring. Yeah, we found a ring. We know we'll take his ring. This is also hindering me too. That bat. Oh, man. 
man, I did that. No. Because the 16 bit also does this as well. We'll go this way because we know he's over here. So apparently the attack also works the same way as the dodge. So we just found, I just found that out. So that works out. Now that I know that, I should be able to actually now fight these things. I didn't know that at first, you know. Like that was something that I, you know, like legit didn't know that um it did that, so. But I'm going to save it here because technically, and we're going to save it over our first, because I think we now have an extra continue. And now that I know how the fighting works in this, it should make it a little simpler. Well, I, I'm not going to say simple because this game's not simple at all. In fact, um, when I was telling uh, my boyfriend I was going to be playing it, he's like, yeah, it's a pretty rough game. And I'm like, okay. So we got the 20 go, we got the bag of bait, and the smell is worse. Because I think that's probably going to be the best way to get away from that. Yeah, once I figured out how to fight these things, that made it so much easier. Um, I'm thinking we safe. Even though this thing is probably going to kill me, we are gonna save. And I'm gonna save right here. Slot two. Um But um like I said, it does this the immortal actually offers both the 8 bit and the 16 bit. Um so we did play the 8 bit here for a bit. Um so I'm gonna just show off a little bit of the 16 bit as well. But as you can see, you can play either or. So um, let's play let's play some of the 16 bit and then we will switch over to our next game. So I wanted to show off both of them, so figured that would be a good way to do that. And this one might be a little more easier on the eyes. Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. An image of the old wizard, more than merely. So it's the same as that game. It's just one is 8-bit and one is 16-bit. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah. So it looks like it's the same thing, just this one has better graphics. Oh, this one gave me fire moth. have been hitting the wrong button. This is actually on the Nintendo Switch, uh, Draconic Dude, and welcome to the stream. This just released to the Switch. I know it is on Gogcom. Um, I know it is on Gogcom. I know it's on PC. It's also on Evercade. Um, but it just released to the new gen console, so you can play this on the Nintendo Switch. 
PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. So, I see you have come. You must rescue Mortimer. He has kept of many levels below. He's gonna give us a key because this place, like the other one, didn't see this chest over here. It's locked, but you have the key. Open it. Yes. That's what Dan has been telling me, too. He's like, yeah, that gets really rough. <laughs> Um, we're gonna take that and we're gonna take the spores. Okay, see, this has a little bit more. Oh, this gave me a map! Huzzah! <laughs> yeah. This is one that I had been looking at, um, because I was gonna play it on Evercade originally, and then, um, Cube by Interactive had reached out to me and they gave me a bunch of games to play on stream. And so I was like, oh, I know the immortal, you know, because again, I remember, um, let's see. Okay, and so it also looks like, too, that each game has their own save slots. So that's cool. For me, I think if I continue to play this, it would definitely be the 16-bit version that I would play. Get in here. Ah, uh, that's how I died the last time, too. I was gonna say, I wonder if Ant Stream also has the, um... We're gonna go this way. Foolish old man. Slice him down the middle. Slice and dice. He's dead. Look for possessions. Yes. Find a note. Find a door key. Um, okay. I found 30 gold pieces as well. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Gotta be careful. I'm just gonna run for it! No, I'm not! <laughs> Apparently, I'm not gonna just run for it. Prepare to continue. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I legit tried. I tried to run for it, and that was not working in my favor. Um, I, but I do believe that is the way we want to go. I don't think there's any other doors out here. I think that's the way we want to go. I just have to be, um, more attentive to what's happening. <laughs> I think. Oh no, here's a door. Okay. I think we should save. We should save. Because I'm like, I don't trust this game. This game, I have trust issues with this game. Okay, so there's NIST, Mega Drive, and Omega. Okay. Careful. Maybe go in this room. It's locked and you don't have the key. So that key we just got does not open that door. Okay. Hmm. Does it, like, really not open that? I'm like, because we got this door key. But I imagine it would just open it automatically. Okay, this room doesn't resemble. Yeah! And this one actually does have, um...
save um, states. This one you can actually like save on. That's the door we came in through. I, I think we have to, um, yeah, we gotta go through this room. I just have to be careful. Okay, I think that the map goes to this room. Doesn't look like anything on the map. Ah! Biscuit! <laughs> I think it's died. Oh! Well, that's just not right. No, we are not gonna play again. <laughs> but again, that is the immortal. And again, the immortal and the tall is exactly. That is the Immortal, and the Immortal is available on PC through Steam and GOG. If you decide to get it there, it does go for $5.99 USD. Um, it just recently came out to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. And for the consoles, it's going for $7.99 USD. Um, again, if you own an Evercade console, we can pick this up on the Pico Collection 1 set. Um, those carts usually run about $20 USD. But that is another way that you can play this if you want to play it in more of a retro style or feel. I do recommend if you ever came to do so. But again, I do want to take the time to thank Cubite Interactive and Pico Interactive for providing me with a free copy of The Immortal to play on tonight's stream.